What's up, good people? If this is your first time coming to the Big Hair Bandit channel, welcome. And if you've been here before and you subscribe, welcome back. So in this vlog, it's going to be like, um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but it's going to be, let's say, um, a trimester long because we are going to have another baby, the Lord's willing. So today, what is today? It is May the tw Tuesday, May the 24th. And um, last year in February, so February 2021, yeah, February 2021, I decided, uh, well, we decided that I would get an IUD because we was like, we're not trying to have another baby like right away. And I wasn't trying to have another baby at all. Originally, before Jackson even got here, um, before I was even pregnant, I wanted to have two kids because when I grew up, so my siblings are 20 something years, 10 and nine years older than me. So they were there, they were present, but they weren't like right there growing up with me. I kind of feel like I grew up by myself outside of my cousins, but they didn't live in the house with me. So kind of feel like I grew up by myself. And I always said that I didn't want that for my kids. So here I am, Jackson is, what, 17, 18 months, year and a half old. And I'm like, okay, so it's going, it's going. Um, motherhood isn't super easy, it, it's tough, but it is durable, I can do it. So after we got married, Josh and I had a conversation and he was like, yeah, I want another baby. And I'm like, cool, me too. So today I had the IUD removed and the doctor told me that um, the process could happen quickly if we're like trying, trying. So I had to call him and be like, I don't know how quick you want to have this baby, but um, Dr. Cates, who is my doctor, she said, um, you know, be careful if you're not trying to have the baby right away because it can happen right away. Like she said, she was saying like fertility comes back pretty quickly after you have the IUD removed. So she told me to start taking prenatals. So I went to um, Target because it was close by the um, my office and I got these Ollie, the essential prenatal folic acid with um, DHA. Cause I remember when I had Jackson um, or when I was pregnant with Jackson, I remember the prenatals that I was prescribed had DHA in it. So I made sure I had that. Um, and what does it say? I think I have to take these twice a day or one, is it twice a day? No food, take only as directed. Where is it telling me where to take it? Oh, shoot, I think it's one, I don't know. I'm gonna start off with these and see how it goes. I also got Josh some multivitamins. They're just, um, I think one, one a day, one day, one daily, one a day, I don't know. Anyway, he also has multivitamins. So yeah, this vlog will be all about the process. Like it'll, I'll show not me peeing on the stick, but like when I do get to that point and my period um, is missed, you know, like not peeing on the stick. Again, I'm not gonna show you guys pee, me peeing on the stick, but I will show the stick once we get a positive test and all of those good things. So it'll probably be like September, October, or maybe longer than that. Cause I don't, I don't plan on saying, I don't think we're gonna say anything prior to the first trimester with my history of having a miscarriage. Um, that's another story for another vlog. Jackson is our rainbow baby. I'll say that. Um, so yeah, we're going to give Jackson, Cameron, and Mason another sibling, the Lord's willing. So yeah, that will be all of this vlog. Again, it'll be like a whole process. Um, like me going to the doctor, probably the first trimester and stuff like that. I'll include the baby's heartbeat and like all of the things like that in, that go with the first trimester. And this will be a part of our probably um announcement i'm sure so yeah that's that and um 
uh, currently I'm feeling like oh I'll probably include that like throughout the process like how I'm feeling so this video is going to be like so random and like so spaced out anyway um currently I'm feeling like excited and like I don't think I'm, I'm not feeling nervous just excitement um like how exciting is it that you have the ability to bring life into the world I think that's the the most exciting part I'm praying already that my um my journey is you know a good one and even if you know god forbid there happens to be something that isn't good that you know i have the strength to keep moving on um so yeah that's gonna be this video i hope you guys enjoy it and um thanks for coming along with me on this crazy ride so yeah i feel like i'm gonna cry i don't know why but i'm gonna go ahead and end this part of the video so until next time peace what's up good people i'm whispering because i don't want josh to hear me so i can't remember when i made that initial video I'm gonna have to look and put it here on the screen anyway so a few weeks ago i didn't film this a few weeks ago josh was like i think you're pregnant because you're starting to smell like weird stuff and i'm like no i'm not pregnant um but then i was like oh maybe i might be pregnant because i did that with jackson so i took a pregnancy test i wasn't pregnant that was like two weeks ago but this week like I keep track of my period anyway so the IUD came out whenever I made the other video that initial video to start this whole vlog so um what was I gonna say so I took that pregnancy test a couple of weeks ago I bought a two pack oh that's what I was gonna say my period supposed to come on what well, was like predicted to come on a few a few days ago i'll say from hold on let me see so it was predicted to come on july 23rd which was last saturday it is tuesday july 26th and i'm like this morning i was like if my period doesn't come on by wednesday tomorrow i'm gonna take the test but then i was like i came to use the bathroom because i've been drinking so much water I came to use the bathroom and I'm like, heck no, forget that. I'm going to take the test now. So I took the test and I only saw one line, so I threw it away. So I came back in the bathroom just now and I'm like, oh shoot, I meant to like hide the pregnancy test because I didn't want Josh to think that, you know, because this time I went to surprise him last time. I was just like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. But this time I want to do like something cute because it's the grand finale. Um, prayerfully, Lord willing, everything goes well. So, um, I was like, let me just throw the thing away, but something told me to look at it. This is what I saw. Pregnant. Now, I peed on enough sticks to know that that's like legit but i'm going to take probably like five more just to be on the safe side and um also go ahead and make an appointment like i'm so yeah i'm gonna take more tonight and then um probably tell josh tomorrow because i'm not gonna be able to wait i'm, I'm just not Pretty much, pretty much. So yeah, I found that out when he was napping. Also, while you were napping,
Yeah, that happened quickly. Mm hmm. Yeah. In the middle? In the middle? No, what do you mean in the middle? Speak with the one line comes out, it always in the middle. In the middle? I hate when it does that. It's just so damn confusing. What do you mean in the middle? No, I mean like the line like in the middle. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, where is it? I don't know what you mean. Like, the way it's low. Like, if it was like one, say you weren't pregnant. Oh, it would be in the middle. In the middle. Oh, yeah. Suspect ass thing. You know what I mean? Like we do it looking at it last time and the damn line was light. Yeah. And we were like, Ugh. Yeah, I have to go get another one. But it was like this last time. I know. I also know because my period is late. I was about to say that because I was like, wait, when are you it was, supposed to have your period? It was period supposed to come on weekend? Saturday. This Tuesday. I was going to wait till tomorrow I was gonna wait till tomorrow but I'm like yeah I don't know I'm a little nervous because <laughs> what I would tell them tonight when I don't get no drink what I would tell them tonight when I don't get no drink <laughs> What's up, good people? It is July 27th. I still haven't figured out what day that initial video was recorded because I just forgot until now. So the word is I'm officially pregnant. I've taken three pregnancy tests, two that have like the plus sign and then one that says pregnant. So I called my doctor today to see if I can get an appointment, but it's too soon. So I have to wait till like the end of August, which is like a month, which is way too long. We was wanting to tell, well, I don't know if we still might, I don't know. We were wanting to tell um, our parents because they'll all be together all at once next month. So we were thinking about telling them then, but I was hoping that I would have a doctor's appointment to confirm it. So I don't know, we'll see. I haven't talked to Josh to see if that's what he would still like to do. So there's that, but yeah, according to the pregnancy tests, it's official. Um, and it's so funny because I knew the moment that <clears throat> I knew the moment that I decided to like seriously take me losing weight, um, serious, I would get pregnant. So here we are, but I'm still going to do Herbalife. Um, regardless because I know there there's a lot of women who has success had successful pregnancies and still did Herbalife my biggest goal is just to make sure I gain healthy weight of course and still be able to stay active like with Jackson for the first trimester all I did was sleep literally like didn't work out nothing the second trimester I walked a little bit but not as much as I would have liked to in the third trimester it was just like if I did it, I did it. If I didn't, I didn't. More so, I didn't. So with this baby, I plan to be more active, stay in the gym safely. Um, I meet with Ty, the trainer, twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. So I'm still going to do that. I'm just going to try to stay as active as possible because with, the, with Jackson, when I was pregnant with him afterwards, I did struggle a lot with my body and getting used to it. And honestly, I probably like this year in April March April like literally just got to a point where I was okay accepted where I was and I just don't want to be back in that space mentally like where I didn't think you know like I looked good or I felt like certain types of ways so I can only control that I do realize that so I do plan to stay as active as possible um I mean, I'm pretty sure, well, I don't know. I might crave crazy things. I do plan to um, eat 
the whatever I crave, but at the same time still be conscious of, you know, my, of still gaining healthy weight and, you know, mostly staying active, um, whether that's walking, you know, um, getting on the elliptical or whatever the case may be, I do plan to stay as active as possible as much as baby allows. So yeah, that's the update. I will... I guess periodically now update you guys on how I'm feeling, um, if there's any change in how I feel, but if not, I probably won't say anything until after I, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, until after I have my doctor's appointment. So yeah, we're having a baby. I'll have to take a picture. I mean, I guess it really don't matter. I will. I took a picture the day I found out about Jackson. So I'm gonna take a picture just because, like, to say the day that I found out, even though it was yesterday. But yesterday, today, same difference. Anyway, I will see you guys soon on the next update. And I had to plan the reveal. Because it has to be epic because prayerfully, Lord's willing, everything goes well. This is the last baby that I'm birthing. This it. Grand finale. So yeah. I'm going to holla. Until next time. What's up, good people? It is Monday, August the 1st. I think I'm starting to feel pregnant. Or maybe it's because... I have Jackson's cold. He transferred it to his mother. That's probably what it is. But I'm also sleepy AF. Um, I have not been drinking coffee. Today I tried to drink coffee and it didn't even taste good. I don't even know who I am. I'm pretty sure this, like, this kid is a girl because everything is like the complete opposite of Jackson. Anywho, I called my doctor. I don't know if I've said this, but I've called my doctor to try to schedule an appointment and they told me I had to be eight weeks so your girl improvised I'm going to urgent care on Thursday just to confirm the pregnancy I have to go back into the office next week and I don't know what's gonna happen with this first trimester like if I'm gonna be good like I was with Jackson or if I'm gonna be vomiting uncontrollably at all times so my job has this thing where we have to be in the office um, when we're scheduled to be in the office. And if we're not, then, oh, shoot. And if we're not, um, then we have to use PTO. I do not have no PTO to be using. So this that's also why I'm going to urgent care to, like, get confirmation in case they ask for it. So, yeah, that's the pregnancy update. I'll say something to you guys when I find out on Thursday. I hope they can give me an ultrasound too. An ultrasound script. So yeah, we'll see what happens. And I also look crazy. This probably is a girl because I look, I hear the girls treat you, treat their mamas like garbage. Jackson loved me. I was gorgeous when I was pregnant with Jackson. We'll see what happened with this kid. I don't know. It's starting to look a lot like no girl it ain't it oh yeah oh i forgot oh jackson jackson wanted to get on huh is it oh yeah so uh jackson hey ma jesus hey ma See, Jackson wanted to get on and tell you he's going to be promoted to Big Brother. What? He's going to be promoted to Big Brother. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I am. <laughs> You know what? You know, you know.
everything. Ah, no, I don't. I don't want to know everything. I thought you said that's okay. So how tall are you? Um, no, I'm only five, five weeks five. in a few days. Right now, I have a doctor's appointment on the 17th. We was going to wait to tell y'all together, but since she said you and daddy going to be out of town, I couldn't wait. And I almost told you um, on the phone a few minutes ago. So, so that's why your face is glowing? And no, my face is glowing because I'm just gorgeous. Uh, your dad just said you just got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she said that night you got drunk. You done got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, I'm praying and hoping this is a girl. It is. It's a girl. It's, it's a girl. girl. Oh, wow. Oh, I've been laughing. You're going to have to come up with a name that might rhyme with Jesse and Mejia. Some kind yeah, of name. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got to put something in there with both our names. Um, don't get we'll our think child. about it. Don't get our child. Josh, you know, food. if it's a girl, she's gonna be the first grand girl I've got. Oh, I got all grand boys. Oh, so well, this, this right here is a girl. You know, I, I kept looking at Javon because you know, Rock, I said, God, Javon Rock sitting up on her back. I've been doing a lot you, of squats. You knew something. See, I can't see her, so I, I couldn't tell. But if I'd have come down there, I would have seen something. And you know, I didn't want to say nothing because, you know, I know she's so sensitive about her weight. And I said, you know what? Let me just keep my mom clothes because she swear I think I know everything. What is up, good people? It is Tuesday, um, August 9th. I just came to say that one doctor's office is low-key suck. Huh? No, it's new milk. No, I just made that. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, he asked, he gave me the cup, so I thought he didn't have none. Back to what I was saying. Doctor's offices stink. But let me tell you why. I did not know you had to wait until you were at least eight weeks pregnant to go for the first prenatal appointment that sucks trying to keep my anxiety at bay during this process because i went online and made an appointment at my doctor's office and then they called me and told me that they had to cancel it and they rescheduled it so it was scheduled for the 17th of next week august 17th so next wednesday it's now august 29th which is a monday the end of the month like it's not the math ain't math for me but i'm like five weeks in a few days i think i'll be six weeks on thursday but what i wanted to what i actually came on here to show you guys was i don't know if i'm bloated or if i'm it might be because i ate on the way home too from work but my stomach just sticking out a little bit too far for me to be six weeks ish I don't know I might be just um in my head I don't know but the belly is bellying already and I know they said that if you're pregnant if you've been pregnant before you start to show faster I think that that is true cuz okay hold on with um with jackson i did i do think i did start showing sooner so i mean that could be the case but i'm gonna have to give myself away at work sooner than i would like hopefully not until september i would like to wait until the end of september but we will see this is a wig that I got from Amazon. But let me tell you, the girls who be wearing wigs, kudos to y'all, it's hot. 
that's all I had to say for the grand finale bump update. I will see you guys. Oh, also, I have been vomiting. This child trying to take me out. So, last Saturday, I was sitting at my computer desk, felt nauseous. Didn't actually throw up, but felt nauseous. Sunday, we went to Walmart. I walked down the bread aisle, and I felt like I was going to throw up from the bread aisle. Then today, this morning before I went to work, vomiting. At work, vomiting. So, yeah. That's that. So, um, might be a sister girl instead of a homeboy. We'll see, because I've heard mixed reviews about, um people being sick and it being a boy still so i don't know we'll see what happens anyway now that's all that i wanted to say to you guys i'm about to go eat some chicken buffalo dip from Publix until the next video well until the next part of the video what's up good people it is august the 30th that was a tuesday so yesterday also this is a baby update um let me look one second um as of today i am eight weeks and five days baby is the size of a gummy bear so let me just say the people that say the first time you, you're pregnant, your first baby, you do all of the things. I was like, no, that's not going to be me. <laughs> it's me too. It's definitely me too. Because by this time, I would have taken all these pictures. Like with Jackson, I took all the pictures and everything. Like the weekly pictures, as soon as I found out. I have not taken one weekly update picture on the little sign. I ordered the letters because I can't find the letters. I think I still have the board, but I haven't did none of that. Anyway, I've written it down in my um in my planner to do that. I'm gonna start at nine weeks because let's see, I'll be nine weeks Friday. Yeah. Oh wait. Thursday I'll be nine weeks Thursday um so I'm gonna just start because I'm gonna I'm gonna I plan to do it on the weekends um I'm not digging in my nose this is the side of my nose by the way oh excuse me anyway I plan to start taking the pictures at nine weeks um yesterday August 29th I went to my first doctor's appointment love my doctor like absolutely love her cannot stand the, the staff though anyway um everything went well everything's good so far she gave me an ultrasound order i go get the ultrasound order i mean the ultrasound tomorrow um on august 31st so i don't know that i'll record that but i'll put i'll talk about it and like put up pictures after um that i know last time with jackson we recorded it but um well maybe i can't record it anyway um nonetheless there will be pictures i'll put pictures of the ultrasound after and yeah that's the baby update and i also have to get some blood work done and yeah my iron, I think my iron might be low, but also my doctor said that it could be a combination of my iron being low and then just pregnancy hormones um, because I'm freezing. Like normally I'm a hot natured person. I'm um, always warm. We keep it like 72 in our house. Yeah, like 72. And it's freezing in here all the time to me. All the time I'm freezing. So... I don't know this pregnancy is already completely different from Jackson um I think week six and seven I was throwing up did not throw up didn't get nauseous with Jackson I'm currently craving sweets 
and chocolate. So I don't think I've expressed this on my YouTube channel. I do not like chocolate. The smell of chocolate like makes me want to vomit. Now chocolate smells so good. It's like so weird. We were in Key West for a friend's birthday recently. I had to do that sober. It was it was a whole thing. Anyway, um, one of um, my girlfriends that was there, she was saying that she thinks that I'm having a girl because when she was have when she was pregnant with her daughter, all she craved was sweets. The kind of sweets that I'm craving, I mean, it's junk food and sweets, but mostly sweets. I bought Reese's Pieces. I mean, I normally eat those, but I really wanted those. I bought Reese's Pieces, um, Butterfinger. I don't normally eat Butterfinger. I mean, I'll eat it, but it's not something I go to the store specifically to get. I went to the store and specifically got that. Um, that and in Key West, I was introduced to these Heath cookies um heath bar cookies from Publix oh my god phenomenal they have pieces of the heath bar candy in it oh my god amazing I bought some when we got back home we got back home last Saturday what was last Saturday for context the 27th I bought some on the 27th by yesterday the 29th they were gone and I mostly ate them anyway um what else I'm working out still not as much as I would like to but I think mostly because I'm just so exhausted I'm not as exhausted um, the last couple of weeks but definitely have been exhausted prior to that but now it's just like so so I'm trying to make sure I get good night sleeps um, yeah that's about it that is the quick pregnancy update. I'm trying to remember to do this um, every week, like as it gets older, or maybe maybe not every week, but because unless something drastically changes. But um, we plan to do a photo shoot on let's see September the 18th, which is one two like three weeks away um and in the photo shoot we're gonna go to the beach and that's where we plan to tell the kids too i mean jackson won't really know um what we're talking about but the older kids will so we plan to tell them that way and then those are oh excuse me oh those are also going to be our announcement pictures also we plan to announce in october so you guys will see this video in October sometime. Um, and then we decided to have a gender reveal, I guess, um, which will also be sometime in October. So I'm not sure if I'm going to combine all of that together, um, like wait to put this video out until the gender reveal or for the gender reveal might be like a completely set. I think I'll make it a separate video depending on when the gender reveal is because i think it'll probably be like the end of october um even though we go on a cruise october 21st through the 24th and then i think the week before that um our friends are going to be in vegas who plan to do the gen or throw the gender reveal so maybe it'll be like the beginning of um october like october 2nd like fresh beginning october 2nd also in october um october 1st is my last day working for the boutique only because i know i'm not going to be able to work and since the lord's willing um since this will be my last pregnancy i want to thoroughly enjoy it and do all of the things um relax and bask in you know the things that come with pregnancy um so yeah that is my little update um oh i've also been feeling like flutters i don't know why i've been feeling that so early or so soon i meant to say that to my doctor yesterday too but i totally forgot oh not this 
pressing on the thing. Um, I forgot to mention that to her if that's normal. But yeah, I have three more weeks in the first trimester. So looking forward to that being over. Try not to take any more pregnancy tests. You know, having a having a miscarriage and anxiety is like a terrible recipe for pregnancy because even though I'm like trying to control my anxiety, I'm like still so anxious but excited at the same time. And sometimes my excitement overpowers my anxiety. But then at the same time, sometimes my anxiety overpowers my anxiousness. So it's like just trying to balance the two. I've noticed that I've definitely been praying more too um, since I've been pregnant. I mean, I well, wouldn't say more because I feel like I pray all the time, like randomly throughout the day and like whatever. Um, but I've, I guess I should say I've been incorporating more prayers about my anxiety and a peace of mind about the pregnancy and, you know, um, praying for whatever, you know, praying for the ability to accept whatever happens, you know, good or bad. And of course, a healthy baby, a safe delivery, um, you know, all of those things. Praying that I'm not in the hospital for seven days. Praying that I don't get preeclampsia. You know, all of these things. Um, at some point, I'm going to write out, um, like, affirmations to, to say to myself, like, every day. Um, like I did with Jackson. And, you know, praying for body acceptance and, like, all of that stuff. Because after I had Jackson last time, I really struggled with my body because of the drastic change like I was so used to you know my stomach being flat only being big when it was bloated and no stretch marks to going to you know my weight being at its highest um and you know like taking the time to acknowledge that I carried a whole human being for months like almost a year um you know so just like the normal things that women go through but this time I'm praying that um, I'll, I'm ahead of the game as far as accepting my body for where it is and, you know, getting it back to what it is that I desire it to be and all of that stuff. So, yeah, that's that. But, of course, I will be sharing all of those things um, as my pregnancy goes along. And yeah, like some days I feel like I'm showing, other days it's just like, girl, you fat. <laughs> anyway, so that I'm not rambling, that is the quick um, pregnancy update. It's going to be so cool looking back at this video. I wish I would have did that with Jackson. If I would have been vlogging then, I would have had all of the things with Jackson too, but Jackson has all of the things now with YouTube and to be able to look back at all of that stuff. Anyway, it's about time for lunch. I'm going to, I'm really wanting to drive to Checkers and get a sweet tea and fries, which is what I'm probably going to do. I only got 30 minutes for lunch. <laughs> Checkers isn't that far though, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. I'm going to skedaddle um, until the next update. I will holla. Be easy. Peace, love, and hair grease. What's up, guys? Pardon my hot mess looking self. Today is Wednesday, August the 31st. We went and saw the baby today. Listen, y'all, I literally cried like legit cried because anxiety and miscarriage trauma is real in these streets okay i took i've taken 11 pregnancy tests since the time i found out like a month ago i've taken 11 pregnancy tests because i don't know what 
I thought what happened in between now and or then and now with the ultrasound, but 11 pregnancy tests I have taken just to make sure I'm still pregnant, which if you think about it, it probably would have been worse because God forbid, had I miscarried, it still would have showed up pregnant for a while and then that would have been worse. But thank the Lord in the heavens. Um, all is well. Everything looks good. Baby's heartbeat was 170 beats per minute. Um, yeah, everything is going great. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's the update. Oh, and due date is April the 6th, like I originally thought. So she said I'm eight weeks um eight weeks and six days as of today but the app says i'm nine weeks i don't really think a day is gonna make a difference especially when the app says the same due date oh my lips ashy um especially when the the due date is the same so we're just gonna go with a whopping nine weeks as of today so yeah your girl is excited I'm putting cocoa butter on my lips because they feel it rough. Um, but yeah, I'll put pictures here. It, mm. Oh, let me tell you about these. Now my lips look greasy. The 32 ounces of water that I had to drink and hold for an hour. Thank the Lord this lady was on time. Called me right back. I was, as soon as she came out, I was like, I really hope this is excuse me for me and she was like mrs stevens <laughs> that would be odd anyway all is well excited things are moving along baby's doing good i'm doing even better knowing that baby's doing good so yeah next up is i have another appointment on the 21st of september um, but before that, we're taking family pictures on the 18th, 17th, 8th, I think the 18th, because that's a Sunday. And, um, excuse me, and telling the kids then, well, the kids that actually understand what's going on. Um, so yeah, all good things. Still praying for, uh healthy and safe pregnancy um, I'm gonna start telling a few more people um, since I've gotten the ultrasound like I'm gonna tell my brothers because they still don't know yet um, and then probably tell a few more people like I'm gonna tell my best friend because I haven't told her either um, so yeah moving along I forgot they check your ovaries to like to make sure your ovaries are good. So my ovaries look great according to the ultrasound tech. So yeah, I feel like a dramatic sigh of relief. Um like especially after I saw the heart fluttering. I think it was going so fast. Uh, and we tried to record but I forgot you can't record that so yeah but I'll put pictures up here so you guys can see um oh lordy I'm sleepy and I came back to work I also don't got no PTO so I ain't had no choice but yeah that's the update Feeling good, feeling great. I'm sleepy though, but still feeling good. Anyway, I will be back with another update as soon as I have one. Um, yeah, that's all, folks. All right, bye. What's up, guys? Happy. Sunday. It is September the 7th through 18th. 
And today we are going to take pictures for our baby announcement. Um, was, I'm 11 weeks now, three months. Um, by next week, I will be 12 weeks officially out of or coming out of the first trimester, which I'm so excited about. And, um, yeah, I'm, I haven't been feeling anything lately. Um, I think like a couple of weeks ago or earlier this week, maybe I was a little bit nauseous. Um, but other than that, the only thing I've been feeling is super exhausted. Like yesterday, I, um, I worked at the boutique almost I'll be working one more Saturday at the boutique and then I'm not going to be working there anymore. But um, yesterday when I got home, I took a nap. I fell asleep at like seven something. I woke up at seven something this morning. Like I woke up a few times in between that, but only because Jackson was like jumping on me. Um, but yeah, obviously I was tired. Didn't realize how tired I was, but was definitely exhausted um so yeah sorry my head is itching um but yeah today we're taking pictures i'm going to get my makeup done by gabby and then we're all wearing um i'm wearing all white the guys are wearing white t-shirts and khaki pants and we're doing it on the beach of course we're shooting with um lance our photographer um so yeah, that's it. I'm laying down right now. I should be like getting up, doing something productive, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, that is the update. I'm trying to decide. We're supposed to post this on social media October 1st. And there's still a few people that I have to call or text and tell them prior to it showing up on social media. So I was gonna like move move it up, but I still have a few people that I need to call and tell. So I'm probably not going to post it sooner because I still need to call these people, which I'll probably do next week. Um, and utilize the time that I have to drive home from work because I'm in the office next week. So I'll probably do that. Call these people um, and tell them. So yeah, that's that. I will come back later. Hopefully I can record some stuff. Since it's gonna be on the beach, I don't know how much I can record, but yeah. Anyway, that's the update. I'll come back when I have my makeup done and we're all dressed and yeah. I'm sleepy. Why? Anyway. I'll holla. What's up, good people? It is Wednesday, September the 20th. So, Sunday, the 17th, 18th. We were, so I came and said that we were taking pictures. When I got my makeup done, and then it was supposed to storm. So I guess we didn't take pictures. But I did go to a park because it did not storm like it said it was going to. I ended up going to like this little park place and just took some pictures with my tripod. It wasn't what I wanted, but it is what it is. So trying again this Sunday. I don't know if I'm getting my makeup done. But I'll put pictures of the makeup that I did have. I completely forgot to even come back and show my makeup that day. I was so bummed. But that is the update. I go to the doctor tomorrow. Hopefully we can hear baby's heartbeat. I think they do it on this visit. Um, so yeah. That is the Prego update. I'm so excited. Next saturday october 1st we're announcing it so i'll be able to like get back on social media and post again and 
all of those things because I'm sick of hiding it and I still have like a handful of people to notify I wouldn't say call notify prior to this hitting the web so yeah one of them is my best friend homegirl you need to answer your phone anyway I know why she hasn't been answering it but that's all I had to update y'all on oh well I guess I can tell y'all this I've been working in the office this week because we're hybrid bi-weekly um one week we're in the office one week we're home and this week we're in the office I've been coming home and putting on my pajamas and then taking a shower like an hour or so later I'm tired I'm in my pajamas and in a bed but I'm about to get up and take a shower I'm gonna eat and take a shower and then go to bed so yeah Oh, and then I'll start back vlogging once it's worldwide news. Any hoots. So this video will probably come out like October 1st. Sunday's the 2nd. Monday's the 3rd. Like October 5th. Because that's Wednesday. And that's posting day. Anyway. I'm going to holler at y'all. good people happy sunday it is october so happy october and so let's go ahead and get into it so this week um i think it's october 5th the video will officially be coming out finally because i plan to post about the bump um it's really bumping i have to put a video up um so yeah the bump is bumping we're 13 weeks um almost out of the first trimester even though i think 13 weeks is considered the second trimester i'm not sure in my head that's what i think as long as i made it to 12 weeks like i'm like okay excited anyway um so i just came on here to like do like a little recap of the first trimester before this video goes up so um i did feel nauseous i did actually vomit um i think i said this i was eating chocolate or craving sweets for freezing all the time but my blood work came back normal so i'm not anemic or anything or my iron isn't low it's just pregnancy hormone um we did take our pictures we did take our pictures um the end of September I'm trying to think the last Sunday in September I can't remember what that is at the moment but we took our pictures then um unfortunately the boys didn't get to take the pictures with us but they do know that we're having another kid and they're having another whatever sibling that may be um I do have the lab order to get my blood drawn to find out the gender so hopefully we can get that done soon because of the hurricane um i'm located in florida so because of the hurricane i wasn't able to do that last week like i intended so i plan to get that done this week hopefully but that still is going to take a while and then i have to figure out a date for the gender reveal and all of that good stuff um but yeah i'm starting to feel more energetic I don't like coffee as much anymore though it's so strange and i'm so sad about it but i have been drinking um what is it it's a iced chai latte with pumpkin um sweet cream or cold foam something like that it is delicious and gives me the right oomph so and i've been drinking a lot of tea like uh, mint tea and green tea so that's how i've been trying to get through things and then i'll be back to instagram because i haven't been posting lately because i've been trying to hide this bump um so yeah that's what's going on and then i actually just cut my hair today it was a little longer i picked it out and cut it because 
I was not with it. It was either that or it was coming out. I mean, it's still gonna come out, but probably not till the weekend. So I text one of my girlfriends and told her cause she actually encouraged me to cut it and take it out. I texted to her and before I like sent it, I was like, oh, this is giving like Beyonce vibes. And then she said the same thing and I'm like, yep i'm gonna agree with you because i didn't say it and i'm not hyping myself up you're doing it for me so yeah i love it though but and it's like the it's bigger um bigger hair so i really love that too i put a picture of when i first got it done because i don't think i've made a youtube video in it's been a while so yeah i just wanted to come on and say that and Looking forward to getting back to vlogging and not hiding because of the belly and stuff. So yeah, um, that's it. Next up is probably like a weekend vlog. Um, I don't think we're doing much this weekend, but that could always change. <sighs> Out of breath. So yeah, and then I decided, I took pictures today. I just started taking pictures too. I don't even have my board thing, but I'm going to go into Canva and put the week or whatever on there. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, I just started taking pictures with Jackson. I have taken a million pictures right now, but I'm going to try to do this kid right. I mean, this kid has a whole YouTube vlog about the first trimester and beyond, so... I kind of did take pictures. I mean, not really, but anyway. Yeah, so that will conclude this video. Um, I'm, I, it might be a little long because it's been like the last few months, July, since July or May. I didn't record in June, but May, June, July, August. I don't know that I recorded much of September. I think I recorded a couple of videos in September and then now October. So the secret is out. We're having another baby. Steven's party of six loading. Um, but this is it. The grand finale because your girl is done pushing our babies. Okay. Done. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first trimester. Pray for me for the rest of the trimesters and I make it through. Um, hopefully I can keep this good vibe of energy I got going on. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend she's back. Okay, bye.